and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some more Dredge. It's one of my favorite decks to play. This one's a lot of fun. It's not necessarily like the best deck or anything, and the games that we win are usually really close that we barely win, but like I said, it's a lot of fun to play, and we get to see kind of what happens. So what this, this deck's all about is about self-mill. So we are going to be milling ourselves. That's um, Dredge. If you don't know what Dredge means, it was a mechanic from the original Ravnica block. Uh, the Ravnicas that we have in standard right now is the third uh, Ravnica block that's been printed in Magic. And Dredge was a keyword then, you know, kind of like Convoke. Um, it, was a, it was a keyword that meant, um, that had to do with cards being in your own graveyard and uh, you dredged those cards from your graveyard, put them back into your hand, um, and milled over some cards from your library. And so what we're trying to do in this deck is just mill over our library. And so that's why we just kind of, kind of call it dredge. It's a fun word to say. So the most important card in our deck that really enables everything is Drowned Secrets. We need this enchantment in play on turn two. So every blue spell we play, we get to mill over two cards from our library. It really speeds up our deck. This is what our deck is all about. So since Drowned Secrets is so important, we are also playing for Scheming Symmetries so that we can play Scheming Symmetry on turn one, look for Drowned Secrets to play on turn two, and go from there. Um, also, Scheming Symmetry later on in the game, you know, we can target, uh, does a couple other good things. You know, like after, <clears throat> after we cast it, we can play another blue spell and target our opponent and to have them mill the two cards over or with our Jace, we can take it up and have them mill the two cards over so that they don't get to draw the card they put on top with Scheming Symmetry. And then also it's a one, it's another one mana spell to go with Opt uh, as far as getting Arclight Phoenix back into play, which is important there. But yeah, our, our uh, payoffs for self-milling the the most important one is arc light phoenix and then our secondary ones is we have some narc amoebas that we can put into play and we have creeping chills that we can exile and do three damage to our opponent so yeah we are just basically trying to self-mill put a whole bunch of phoenixes in our graveyard and attack our opponent with the phoenixes get you know put them back out that's what our deck's all about so we're going to see if it works see how it does let's play through a league And go for Dredgen. Against control decks, like, since we don't have very many threats, you know, it's mostly all Arclight, Arclight Phoenix. Against control decks that are dealing with our Arclight Phoenixes, we can also kind of turn into a, a mill deck and then just have our... It's usually like the post-board thing against control decks. Uh, not not really game one. Game one, we want to do our, our game one plan. But post-board, we can turn into a mill deck and have our Drowned Secrets and everything to start targeting our opponents and try to mill them out of win conditions. All right, we see Drowned Secrets, we keep. That's for sure with this deck. Drowned Secrets equals keep. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Turn one, discard. Come on, take something else. Take something else. Don't do it. No. No, we had a master plan. Okay. So this could be another Drowned Secrets. Yeah, I think I keep that. I'm gonna keep it right there in case of another discard. Yeah, Drown Secrets is the new bizarre. Very true. Two target players, me and you.
Yeah, the main deck duress is really getting us. Hachumar. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for that sub there. I appreciate that. Thanks, Pachumar. Welcome to the family. So mono black vampires. What do you think about mono black vampires, Hawkeye? I don't think I'll block this turn. It's a really fast clock. Don't love how fast this clock is. All right, got a phoenix. Creeping chill. I want to find a narc amoeba. Guess I'm supposed to keep that. Would love to hit a narc amoeba here. Like that's the best card to hit is narc amoeba. Yay. Or just more phoenixes. Like, just something to block. All right, well, if phoenix take out the Soren. And our deck's going. It's doing its thing. Creeping Chill should work against either. It should be just fine against Shalai or Leyline of Sanctity. It doesn't target. It's just each opponent loses, deals three damage to each opponent. It doesn't target. It's not target opponent. So it should be... Should be good there. All right, so let's go Scheming Symmetry. Let's go grab another Phoenix. Play Discovery. Target us. We'll have to target them with the other mill. They don't get that card that they wanted. We played three spells, but let's play another one. Get another Phoenix here. 
Darn. Uh, that's fine. We'll just discard that next turn to these radical ideas. Alright, gonna have to do some blocking. To stay alive. I like vampires and pirates. Vampirates. Ah, it makes sense. They're playing vampirates. Okay, so we need... Oh no, drawing the creeping chill is not what we need. No, we need to mill over creeping chill. <laughs> we need to mill over Narc Amoeba also. Uh, Deck, what are you doing? Alright, we gotta hit we gotta hit at least one creeping chill here. No creeping chills. Yeah, I really need to hit a creeping chill or two. This this is just game if they attack out, right? Yeah, it's game. Because these things have menace. Wow, it's not game anymore. Because you two can block this thing. How can I not? It's menace, right? So you just block with two things. Why didn't they attack with the scoundrel? I don't know. They, they had a removal spell too? Oh man, I, I got gifted another turn, that's for sure. That was, and we drew, that was like our best possible draw step too. Um, yeah, for the Grixis deck, just exclamation point decks. You can find it there. You can also find it on the YouTube channel as well. So we had to do 22 damage. Oh, because I have this creeping chill in hand, I don't, I don't think I can do 22 damage. I can do uh, not 22. I can do a lot of damage though. I can do 18. If only we had that other creeping chill in our deck. I said it'd only be 21, though. All right, do we have a Jace left? Yeah, there's one Jace left. What do we know about our library? We know that's a Sulphur Falls. Ha! Ah, good thing I didn't mill me too. Jace was right there.
Okay. So five cards. I just have to untap, and we can win. Man, we should have lost this. Our opponent, if our opponent just attacked with that Grasping Scoundrel, we would have lost. But right now, it looks like we're going to win unless they draw something that kills me. No bio blight. Ugh. Gonna hang out for this win, Hawkeye. I mean, they could they could draw Soren to do the three damage to me. Land. Okay. You're so good. Okay. So I think I'm going to just take out symmetries and put in removal. Specifically, disfigure Legion's End. <sighs> Let's go. Yeah, I like our opponent's Vampirates deck. That's pretty cool. Vampirates. But yeah, they would have just attacked the grasping, grasping scoundrels. I was dead. Or if they would have just used their removal spell, I was dead. They had. They drew a removal spell that killed me, and they waited till after I blocked and then used it after blockers for, for nothing. But that, that turn one duress they had really messed me up because I kept a hand just like this or like, you know, a hand with like Drowned Secrets on turn two and they, they had the turn one duress for the Drowned Secrets and that slowed me down so much. All right, Creeping Chill is like the worst draw we can have. So that's not great. Hey, Flat Dude. Yeah, stream's been a good one today. Played some fun decks. A Crixus Reanimator in particular was really good. Hmm. Yeah, the 2Ds mean it's a donation deck. Meaning this is a deck that a viewer donated to see played. Yeah, Unearth, Unearth would see a whole lot of standard play. 
it is in standard. Only the finest. And you smell my bloodline flows through you. It's usually good to kind of wait on for these sorceries a, a little bit because you want to be able to play three of them in a turn to be able to get back Phoenix. So I'll just play the Narcomoeba. I, this Soren's going to kill us, though. I guess I could have put in Price of Betrayal to help deal with Soren. All right, so I need to hit. I need to find another opt, and hit an arc light phoenix also. Uh, disfigure would have done. Hmm. Okay. Try this instead. Oh man, those are two great cards for me to draw. All right, I'm gonna try to just superpower my deck here. Man, Soren with the life link and everything too. Are you kidding me? Leyline of the Void. Alright, we gotta have these for Soren, I guess. Soren's really tough to beat with that lifelink. Leyline of the Void? Come on! What is this? Yeah, for Kathis? Is that why they have it? It's just cheating. I guess my anti Leyline of the Void plan is Jace, I guess. So I'll just keep this kind of contr this control hand here. Wow. This deck's perfect against me. This is perfect. I can't I can't be Leyline of the Void ever. What is this? This is not good. No, Hawkeye, you can't... You can't lay on the keyboard, Hawkeye. Uh, camera's all off now. What do we drop? Price Betrayal? Sounds about right.
Uh, two mana surveil too. Well, I mean, we could draw Jace. Like they have, they have basically nothing going on here. You know, like even just like having like a Phoenix blocks this freebooter. Jace will just get us a whole lot of cards that help us find Phoenixes and stuff. They don't really have anything going on. I mean, they have they have they're attacking for three. That's not scary. I know. This is three matches in a row. Like Boros Angels, the last two matches were like the worst possible matches we could have, and now we got the only person playing Leyline Avoid at all. We get a match against that here with this. All right, that trims down their clock quite a bit. Like a fourth land and then a Jace. So one fourth land Jace. Got the first part. We need creatures now, though, with the scoundrel. Oh, no. Life got a lot harder. Life got a whole lot harder. This thing hits super hard. That was two lands there. I mean, this is just over. I don't have I don't have other removal in my. Now come to think of it, I don't have any removal. I just have the two legions ends in my deck because I took out disfigures for the price of betrayals. So I can't even kill this knight of the Ebon Legion. And we can't like block it forever. Because every every block our creatures die, so yeah, that's over. And night kills that night kills us. Man, Leyline of the Void, what a what a beatdown. What a beatdown. All right, let's see what we get for match number two. I, I don't really know exactly how Simic Flash is positioned right now. I don't know. I haven't played that deck. I haven't really been playing against that deck hardly at all, but I also haven't played it too much. I don't know. Gosh, the six is... So bad, too. I don't know how that deck fares against zombies. Which is the main question. Or vampires, sorry. How it fares against vampires, which is the main question. All right, this could work. We're going to need our card draw. We got our lands. 
and keep hitting our land drops. We're just gonna need we're gonna need our velocity, which our deck has tons and tons of velocity. We're gonna need our velocity. I don't know too much about the Kethas Infinite Mill deck. Like, I've only gotten paired against it once ever. Which, that may be this match right here. I don't know. Yeah, looks like it. Okay, good. Do I want to cast this now? Yes. Maybe I should have waited. They just have Ash. They have Ashiox. What am I supposed to do? Why do we play against all these these graveyard hate decks? Just what is this? I'm just gonna help them. Yeah, I guess that's my my plan. Maybe mill them out. I don't know. Right on schedule. I don't have a good plan. This might be a bad idea. I was already on a five card hand that had basically nothing. That had a drown secrets. I leave you with one last nightmare. Yeah, talk about bad matchup league here. Your final terror is upon you. Let us have a storied battle worth. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. I follow the tracks of the wise. Remember your nightmares. Remember. Man, what a beating. What a beating. All right, so price of betrayal. Our own Ashiox. Um, I don't know if I want Price of Betrayal. I just want some Ashiox. I'm just going to take out two Scheming Symmetries, put in two Ashiox, see what happens. My favorite modern deck was Green White Company. 
That was a deck I played all the time. That and Eldrazi Tron. Those are the two I... The main two I made a, a name with. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, Legion's End is good on those things. Yeah, I guess I could have done that too. Oh well. Alright, here we go. Double Drown Secrets. See who can self mill faster. Definitely hoping that no Ashiok over there. All right, good sign on Ashiok. I've got time. Do need to hit land drops, of course. Let's try to do this to hit a land drop. Wow. Well. That was not good. Okay, there we go. Well, milling myself doesn't make any sense now. So time to mill our opponent. We just have all the hate against us here in these two matches. I've got it. Like waxes and wanes. The past is never forgotten. Trust me. This I was. <laughs> this is demoralizing. This was simply demoralizing. So looking for my own Ashiok. That's my best way to win here is, is just drawing an Ashiok. Ah, well played. I'll protect you. That's really plan better next time. That's really bad for me. I kind of need that, Jace. Yeah, Jace. Let me aid your research. This is going to help me out quite a bit. Multiple unmoored egos over there.
Not sure if I'm supposed to play just Radical Idea instead of the Narc Amoeba. Yeah, just gave them more reason to do that. I suppose. To the library. And Ashiok would be such big game for us. So yeah, maybe I should have just Radical Idea'd. Yeah, we should have. So how do we beat Jace? Let's... Guess we don't. The storied past holds our future. Guess we don't. Wow. That was kind of impossible for us. They just have main deck Ashiok. <laughs> to go along with Jace and, and all the unmoored egos, and they just have so, like the Tamios. They have so much more stuff for the graveyard hate than what we do. Wow, that was really, really demoralizing. Yeah, Leyline of the Void, and then main deck Ashiok, and then uh, to game two, unmoored egos and Jace's and Ashiok's. I didn't have a shot. <laughs> I did not have a shot. Wow. Well, didn't get to do too much cool stuff with our dredge deck. But, yeah, like I said, we just did not have a, a shot here. That was some rough matches, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that was dredge. That was a quick one there. Whew. Brutal. All right, well, if you're watching the video on YouTube, I hope you still enjoy the deck. Still a cool deck. Um... We have another dredge video from uh, a few few weeks ago. Uh, if you want to see this deck in action some more with uh, some other matches, you know, search for that there uh, from a few weeks ago. Um, maybe I'll maybe I'll put a link to it in uh, the description of the video. Um, yeah, our our opponents countered our deck pretty hard there. But anyway. Um, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, also don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll have a link to the the, pat, the last time that we played this down here. So, so check that out in the description underneath the deck list there. Uh, but there we go. So thanks so much for watching, Dredge, and I'll see you for the next video.